Well, down here local, Jade joins us from the weather desk again. Jade, you were outside a little bit today. How, how was the heat? You know, I wouldn't say it was enjoyable, but, you know, we got through it. And it uh, looks like we do have a little bit more heat headed our way. Did you get outside today? I did get outside. I was at the Bartlett Center for Juneteenth, and I was outside for 20 minutes, and I was already sweating a lot. I hope you're going to tell me temperatures are cooler, but it sounds like I'm not going to get that. Unfortunately, not for the next few days, but in the near future, I am hoping as well. We'll get a break from the heat. Perfect. Yes. Well, let's take a look at the almanac today for St. Joseph. We had a high of 90 degrees, low of 70, which is warmer than we usually see this time in June with a normal high and low of 85 and 65. Taking a look at your records for today, back in 1953, we had a record high of 104 and in 1966, a record low of 50 degrees. Here's a live look outside right now. It was another hot and humid day that we had today, and we're not really cool, or we have not really cooled much down since then. 81 for your temperature out there. Feels like 84 with that heat index, with winds from the east southeast about 16 miles per hour. It'll continue to stay pretty breezy out there for the rest of your Saturday night. We'll see lows in the 60s overnight tonight, and then we'll see clear skies heading into tomorrow. And here's a look at that heat index out there right now. Even though it's past 10 o'clock, it is still very warm out there. 78 degrees in Trenton, 80 in Maryville, and 91 in Hiawatha out there. And unfortunately, it does look like this humidity will continue for the next few days into the work week. Uh, muggy forecast, so this is showing that it's going to range from comfy to very humid for the next five days ahead of us. And that will also impact that heat index forecast. So here's a look at those numbers. So for today and, or for tomorrow rather, and for your Monday, we'll have a heat index of 95 headed into midweek, 99 for the heat index on Tuesday. And then things start to cool down just a little bit as we head into later in the week. Clear skies out there for your Saturday evening, and it will continue to stay that way as we head throughout the rest of your night. Temperatures reaching the 60s for our overnight low tonight with clear skies. And heading into your Sunday tomorrow, we'll see strong winds from the south moving through. That'll warm us up into the 90s once again for your Sunday. It looks like a lot of heat headed our way. Here's a look at that forecast for tonight. 68 for our overall low, so clear skies and a bit breezy out there with gusts up to 20 miles per hour. Heading into your Sunday tomorrow, 91 for the overall high. Lots of sunshine throughout the day and a bit breezy tomorrow as well with wind gusts up to 25 miles per hour. Now, moving into the work week, we will start off very warm out there, 94 for your Monday, 98 on Tuesday, and then midweek, that's when we see our chances for rain return to the area, but 90 is continuing for the next week ahead, but Mitchell, as I was telling you, it does look like hopefully we will see the heat relief sometime soon, but I don't know if it's going to happen for this week. My eyes on that Tuesday, 98, that's, that's a little high for me. I know, it's going to be a little hot out there. Yeah. Hate to admit it. Might have to be inside that day. Yeah, it's a great day to stay indoors. I, I would say the whole next week would be a great time to stay indoors if Perfect. you can. I, I'll try. Thank you <laughs> so much, Jade.